Sarah Winchester. His mind is as chaotic as the house itself. We're worried about her sanity, Dr. Price. Mrs. Winchester, it's a pleasure to finally meet you. Helen has never done a haunted house or a horror movie before. So when we initially thought, gee, it'd be great to get a Helen Mirren type in this film, you know, uh, to actually go out to her and say, and she said yes was, was a wonderful moment. And I think the reason she was interested in the project was, I think she likes haunted house scary movies, but I think she was really fascinated by the woman, Sarah Winchester. She was fascinated that, that she was, had such an inventive mind and was such a progressive thinker. And, and I think Helen could really relate to her. And I think that's what she was, she was attracted to more than anything was Sarah Winchester, the, the woman. Do you believe in ghosts, Dr. Price? I do not believe in anything I cannot see or study. I feel their presence in the air, in the walls. It has found us. The tricky thing about the house is it's beautiful, it's a popular tourist attraction, but we're, we're placing our film in 1906, and 1906 San Jose looks very different to 2017, 2018 San Jose. It's a bustling modern city now. Um, so, so we shot as much as we could at the actual house, but we, we recreated as accurately as possible many of the rooms. We built the front facade of the house out, out on a farm property in, in Melbourne, Victoria. Um, and and we, uh, we, we, we shot on location in Melbourne while, while actually building as many of the rooms as we could. Um, also, I mean, you shoot at the actual house. There's things, there's modern amenities at the actual house, like sprinkler systems and all these things that you have to kind of remove later in post-production. Um, but we, if you, if you watch the film, you can, and you see the rooms, you can go to the actual house and see those rooms for real. We lock them away. Thirteen nails seals them in. I will do whatever it takes to protect my family. The hardest thing about doing a, a film like this is how do you make it scary? I mean, we've got a lot of scary movies that have been out there and been successful. And our, our goal was to kind of keep it uh, grounded in a, in a reality, you know, to, to know that this is a, a, a real story about a real place and a real person uh, m makes it really terrifying. Um, I think that also Michael and I like to do uh, this kind of misdirect with scares as well. So you think it's going somewhere, it's coming from somewhere, you think it's going to happen on this beat or this moment and then it happens later or it happens earlier or it goes some, in some other direction. I think that's a, a really interesting way of making it scary. I also think, you know, you have to care about the people. There's a big portion of, of, of when an audience cares about the actors that are going through the scary stuff, it just makes it more terrifying because you want them to survive or you want them to uh, get out of a certain situation. I didn't do drops are waiting for thee.